Hey YouTube, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how you can use QuickTime Player as your default uh, YouTube player or any Flash player in, in Safari. So all the credits to of, for this video goes to Big Group Production 100. Now I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description, and uh, I learned this trick from him. him. So yeah, let's get started. What you want to do is go open Safari and go to Safari extensions. And when you're on this page, you can either search for click to flash. Or you can scroll down and you'll see click to flash here. And click on install now and it will take you to this page when it's, when it's installed. Now, <clears throat> if you don't see this page, go to preference, uh, preferences and uh, extensions and click to flash and check this box and you'll see this play, play, uh, you, you'll see this page. Now go to media player and uh, where it says HTML5, change that to QuickTime player and default resolution for what you want, I'll choose it to 1080p. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And, uh, yeah, so when you go to YouTube and you play a video, you'll notice that it is now playing in QuickTime Player. Like I'll choose this uh, Steve Jobs presentation video, and you'll see that it says QuickTime Player instead of playing. So what you want to do is click on it, and now your video will play inside the Quick uh, QuickTime Player. Now I like this because um, it can defaultly play player it play 1080p videos without uh, changing the presets or something. Excuse, excuse me because my internet is very slow now. I'm downloading a movie inside views also, so yeah. yeah but it'll load quick, and you can change it to full screen, and you'll see a bar down here showing you how much it's buffered, and you can click play. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, and MacRex 112 signing out.